Right. I'm going to show you my process of how I clean a catfish fillet. Uh, some of you might think it's wasting meat. I kind of thought that when I first uh, heard about it. A friend of mine uh, catches a lot of flatheads, told me about doing this. And I thought, well, you must just not like catfish that much if you got to do all that to it. But I thought, what the hell, I'll try it and just, you know, try it once. If it doesn't work for me, then I don't have to do it anymore. But uh, actually, it works very well. It takes out a lot of the, oh, sometimes you people associate catfish being a uh, muskier tasting fish, bottom feed or whatever. But uh, what I like to do that greatly improves the flavor of the fish is remove this red meat. It runs thin toward the outside of the fillet. Here it's actually missing from where I flayed it off the skin, which is good because I don't have to remove as much. But uh, it gets deeper as it runs toward the center line here. Um, there's a couple other areas uh, along the top here, as well as the bottom, that I like to clean up. Um, like I said, it's up to you. It's personal preference. This red meat, if one were just to slice this red meat out and batter it and fry it, it almost turns out gray and has a very strong flavor. So when it's removed, you're left with all white meat. You don't get that gray lining when you cook your fish. Sometimes you'll see gray in there. That's where it comes from. Um, like I said, it's all personal preference, but this is a video to show you how I clean them up after I salt water soak them overnight. Usually my first step is I'll go through this top, this fatty looking meat right here on the top and then some on the bottom. I remove that. Sometimes it'll almost appear to be yellow along the top. There's a little piece of skin that I missed. Get rid of that. But this one, actually, I don't see a lot of that fatty yellow line up there. So I'm just going to remove that rubbery looking section of meat that was by the dorsal. that Not the dorsal, but the top little, that little rubbery nub fin toward the tail. <clears throat> and then I'll go down here on the bottom as well and remove that little kind of fatty looking, almost like gelatin meat. I get rid of that. Then what I'll do is take my knife and I'll just go in, slice underneath like this, kind of get deeper toward the center where that red line runs. So basically what I do is just take, take a decent knife, a sharp knife, and just go in like that. This knife actually isn't the sharpest one I got. But see how you can remove deeper toward the center and then I just take that out of there just like that I'll go down the whole fillet and just carefully slice that red meat deeper you go you'll get into the you'll actually lose your white meat so you just want to get the red itself out that is the stuff that you cook that would turn out gray and have a foul taste the musky muddy whatever you call it taste that you call it you know it's all personal preference doesn't take that long and like i said for me it really improves the taste of the catfish when you fry it you get nothing but white meat my girlfriend actually would not eat catfish for uh, until she met me and i fried some for her after i cleaned it like this and she actually really liked it so, you just go through that whole fillet like that. Take out that, like I said, it gets thinner toward the outside edges. And remove it like that. Pretty simple. I'm going to clean that up a little better and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Here's what it looks like now that it's cleaned up. There's still just a few traces of the red left. That's about how clean I usually like to get them. Um, it's all personal preference. And honestly, you're not really losing that much 
there's the red uh, and what you are losing is not very pleasant tasting anyway uh, if you'd like to try an experiment fry some of that up and uh, take a look at the color of it when you fry it and uh, taste it and you'll probably see what I'm talking about then uh, a lot of times this was about a five six pounder there's the fillet that I have left off of it um, I don't eat a lot of large fillets a lot of times I'll just fry some fish up uh, for some friends and stuff when we're out in the shop so I like to 90% uh, of my fish some of the smaller ones that are a pound or so I like to keep whole bone in um, I just actually like the flavor like that um, but I like to take my fillets and actually make ready to cook nuggets out of them so uh, I usually just take slice them about every three two and a half three inches and then I cut it down the center and it just gives me ready to cook little nuggets there's how I've separated it still laying the same way it was I just separated it out so you can see uh, the approximate size of the pieces how I like to prepare mine that way when I thaw these out if I'm having a little get together you know and we're just frying up some french fries or something and some fish you know you got pieces here that are that are easy to handle sometimes I even cut them smaller almost in half again uh, just easy to handle easy to cook easy to bread um, I usually freeze these catfish fillets or uh, nuggets in a quart bag and I'll fill it up uh, roughly a little over half full fill it with water and then press the water out as I back as I seal the zipper so it's there's no air in it that prevents freezer burn it'll and it'll keep for quite some time uh, and then I usually pack four of those in a gallon size bag and then seal it up no water in that one just just an act added layer of protection but uh that way they're ready to fry ready to go everything's cleaned up so they're quick and easy when you go to cook them uh give it a try see what you think said everything is white meat now you won't have that gray funky taste in there enjoy <laughs>